Good day everyone, I'm Althea and today uh, we'll talk about depression and how you can help someone who you think is suffering from it and today I'll give you three tips that um, you should do uh, if you suffer depre depression and if you know someone that um, suffering from it. And everyone has off days where they feel tired, irritable, and sad. It's normal to feel sadness as a response to challenging life events, loss, or changes. But sometimes, um, these feelings can stick around for a while if left unaddressed and make it difficult for you to get through each day. Um, it's important to note that depression exists on a scale from mild to severe. But even in mild cases, it should be taken seriously. Depression is not simply a bad mood or something that someone can snap out of. But luckily, it, it is very treatable. Although depression can become a very clinical subject, many of the ways to help yourself through this mood disorder are very simple and practical. Self-care is a key component to living a happy, healthy life and between your diet, exercise, daily routines, and social interactions, there are plenty of steps you can take to influence your mood. As you move through your depression, be open to trying new approaches and understand that it might take a combination of these self-care practices before you notice a change in your mood. First one, eat a healthy diet. What you eat can have a significant impact on the way your body and mind feel. While you might want to reach for snacks packed with sugar or fat when you're feeling low, it's best to stick to a healthy balance of fruits, vegetables, and proteins that will improve your energy levels and keep you nourished. Avoid skipping meals and be sure to eat meals at regular times to help you maintain a routine throughout the day. Additionally, you should limit the amount of caffeine and alcohol you drink which can negatively impact your mood. Second, get more exercise. Studies have shown that just doing 15 minutes of moderate exercise a day can significantly decrease symptoms of anxiety, stress, and depression. This is because exercise helps to break down stress, hormones like cortisol while releasing feel-good endorphins at the same time. However, not every activity needs to get your heart pumping and sweat running to be an effective tool against depression. Some other ways to exercise include walking for 30 minutes, gardening, cleaning the house, washing your car, going for a bike ride, playing outside with your kids, taking your dog for a walk. Experts recommend getting at least 30 minutes of activity each day to help regulate your mood as well as improve your overall health and protect against other risks like obesity, heart disease, and diabetes. For the last, soak up some sun. Another self-care aspect that is easy to overlook when all you want to do is sit on the couch is getting outside into the sunshine. Sunlight and darkness um, trigger different hormones in your brain and too much time spent inside can have a huge impact on your mood. Along with boosting your serotonin levels, spending some time outside can help increase vitamin D production. Lower blood, lower your blood pressure, build stronger bones, and allow you to get more quality sleep. 
and and that's it and that's the three tips that i can give you for today and i hope you learned something new for today until next time bye